Hello and welcome to Adestra Sporting Adventures question and answer session. First of all, before I am answering your questions, I want to apologize that there is no lift or upload yesterday. I won't be for a long time because I will go away. Next lift tour episode might be next year. And uh, then I'm also not going to have any uploads for a while. Hopefully, I'll be upload on the Christmas day, the 2014 edition of my Fixtush collection. Stay tuned for that. And with that being said, I will now answer questions. Is Sweden by Emerald MC asks Favorite Alright brand Mine's Cooney Well my favorite brand is Diva Drug Alvatosh But Diva Alvatosh they always make drugs and they made a lot from free to like nightly Deal is such an epic brand because it is one of the few national brands that made fixtures on their own and they were the only ones that made that in the 80s. They also made very epic own constructions of hydraulic hullless elevators that moved very fast and it moves almost like an old year at trash elevator so it sounds epic and everything. So that's why I yeah, have many reasons that's why I like TV the most because of the or originality Kuhn becomes seconds because I look Kuhn at both the old elevators they made in the 60s 70s they were epic M series brand as well as the Kuhn EcoDisc and Moonspace series they still deliver today they are ever epic in ever generations, in my opinion. Finnish Lift Tours ask, When did your lift interest start and how? Well, my lift interest started when I was around 4 or 5 years old as a kid. I've grown up with the uh, in the city of Stockholm. And we have that Stockholm subway, and they have many elevators. We had a very old elevator in our own house, not in my staircase, but on the front staircase. And uh, I found it very interesting. Pushing a button were very funny. The lift up, and then the elevator automatically went to the desired floor. And there was so much noise when the elevator passed by a floor. That was very fun. Also, that applied both in the elevator at my home, as well as the hydraulic elevators in the wooden plant subway station, which were true deep elevators. That looked very interesting for me. I started my elevator photography career when I was around 15, 16 years old. In the beginning, I just took photos of elevators and uploaded them on elevator it but I started to film elevators in 2010 when uh, as I became inspired by his 12 upon his first visit and meeting women back then but before I had no idea about elevators and I also was a bit scared of elevators in the period when I was 12 and 15 years old but the elevator photography hobby reviewed my interest in elevators so I'm really happy about that 11 Nick 0222212 asks will you ever come to the United States well I might be someday some year I wish to visit one of my few idols Diesel Ducey in Roanoke Virginia uh, hopefully 
or probably visit other places in the States sometimes. For me, the United States is very far away and it's not very cheap to get some flights from here overseas. So it won't be anytime soon. Emerald Sweden by Emerald MC frågar 1. Vilken kamera använder du? 2. Varför lämnade du tillbaka 650D? 1. Jag använde en Panasonic HC V720. Den köpte jag sommaren 2013 för att ersätta min gamla Panasonic Lumix T720 som höll på att gå sönder. Jag är väldigt nöjd med den här kameran. Det är en riktig videokamera som jag kan filma i full HD 50 bilder i sekunden. Nu är en riktig högkvalitativ kamera. Och nu när jag köpte den här externa mikrofonen till kameran har kvaliteten höjts ännu mer. Och jag är så stolt över det här. Jag har inga planer på att byta ut den här kameran. Jag kommer nog behålla det här i. Åtminstone tills det finns en bra utbud av 4K-kameror. Nu kommer jag nog att fundera på att byta ut den här igen. Men den här fungerar så bra och jag har inga planer att byta ut den. Och den här Canon-kameran, ja, för mig var det helt enkelt en felköp. Det är bra att fota med, men den som jag köpte hade ingen bra lins, lens. Vad ska man kalla det? Jag tror det är lens. För den lät ju så mycket. Så Canon-kameran var helt enkelt en felköp. Jag får nog vänta med professionella kameror, för jag har helt enkelt inte råd just nu. The France always the channel asks, are you going to make trips to other countries like France, Switzerland? Which software are you using for your videos? And what's your favorite brand? What's the worst? Well, I have traveled to Denmark, I have traveled to Finland, I have even been in Germany once. And I have some plans to visit Germany sometimes next year maybe I don't know currently I have some kind of disease after something that happens last spring so I don't really feel ready to leave Stockholm alone for a long while right now but I hopefully I will recover from this frightiness soon so I can travel freely again without being worried. My the software I'm using, I'm using two editing software to edit my videos. One is Camtasia Studio 8. This is a very great software. It is comparable with Sono Vegas and Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's so much easier to use. As you can edit on the screen, you can make the size very easy, just like Microsoft Paint, but very advanced in design. Only disadvantage I have with that editor is it doesn't support AVC HD or .NTS file format, which all my cameras that I have used, including this one, is recording at. I cannot use that file format. My editor official doesn't really support 1080p either. Its highest official resolution is 720p. It also doesn't support 50 or 60 frames per second. So that's some huge disadvantage. I hope they can fix it and the related licensing problems in upcoming versions, but right now I'm limited to that. So to fix that issue, I'm using Windows Live Moon Maker. Therefore, I'm using Camtasia Studio for the presentation part with elevator information, ratings and such. And then I'm exporting it and put it in Windows Live Moon Maker together with the filming sequence itself. And the ending and like small puzzle pieces. And then I'm rendering it all together and then it's ready to upload on YouTube. And Windows Move Maker only doesn't support 1080p but also 50 to 60 frames per second with my camera currently recording it. And with YouTube 
support in that format as well. Windows Movie Maker fills the holes that Camtasia Studio 8 is missing. With those two together, I can make really great elevating and trains videos. So those works quite well for me. As I say, my favorite brand is Deal Elevators because of its epic hydraulics and fixtures and everything else. Second is Kuna. My number three is Sia Graham. It was the most popular 1960s brand in Sweden. And uh, even though they made the fixtures on their own, they also jointly made fixtures and um, shared technology with Kuhn elevators back at the time and uh, I see a ground were also very epic it's a shame that it died out in 1972 the Bosch brand generally the generic brands are the worst I share the opinion with Bino and Heritage elevators that I really dislike generic elevators. I can say that there are some very good generic brands as well, but the absolute worst elevator brand is Svenska Technolift. This and also its former brand Dalahis, they were they really had bad reputation, not only by my not only by his and twelve, by their industry, the Swedish elevator industry. They know this brand and they simply disliked it. They just made the worst elevators in the Swedish market. And that's. I don't think they. Well, no main so bad elevators that both Dala Hits and its Susider Svenska Techno Lift went bankrupt and shut down their corporation. I don't know if there's a new branding out there evolved from it right now or not. But they were bad so they simply died out. Very safe self explaining. Seth Birsinski, sort of spelling. Other than elevators, what other hobbies and interests do you have? I have uh, mainly. Um, shared interest with trains it means I love trains as much as elevators I enjoy riding quite older trains especially those inside Sweden built in the 80s older such as the X10 commuter train and uh, the air steel locomotives those were are very great units running in Sweden if I ever come and visit Sweden and came across one, we should definitely ride one. I'm really interested. I love video gaming, playing a lot of video games. I'm a big Pokemon fan, playing Pokemon games. I started with Leaf Green back in 2006, so my Pokemon interest is way older than my renewed Elevator interests. And, um, I'm still active. I uh, recently bought Pokemon Mega Ruby. I also have Pokemon Y as well. I used to have Buck and Pokemon Y 2 and many other games. As I have a lot of Super Mario games, such as Super Mario 8 for Wii U. My next console aim to buy a uh, PlayStation 3. To play all my PlayStation 3 games I still have when I once had the PlayStation 3. And sometimes I will run my sister channel at this game adventures in uh, full seriously. Another interest I have is computers. And uh, yeah, I simply like computers. I like, I prefer Windows computers because I can do almost everything I can imagine of on Windows. I was allowed to create stuff such as creating my own websites or creating stuff 
power elevator skyscraper simulator but uh, mostly I love to create stuff related to my other interests such as building my own tra train routes for a train simulator or something like that Russian Elevators asks do you want to come to Russia with me to Humi? Maybe, maybe not. Russia might be one of possibly countries to visit sometimes in the future. I have no plans to visit it whatsoever. My mom and I have to re ride the Spira line from Moscow to Beijing in China sometime in the future. Not sure about it. We will probably do sometime. And maybe we can make up a witch is all the body down. As long as you uh, can keep your coolness, that is. I know you should know. And there wasn't much, much other questions being asked to me. And I feel a bit sad about that. This is about four quite questions I have left. Really yeah, nice that you ask me anything at least. And you're doing well and I hope to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we will be set to the 25th. See each other in the next year.